Hello and welcome to the unboxing of my Gretsch 2420T. Yeah, I know, it's in an Ibanez box. First thing that struck me here is that I realised there wasn't a bridge attached to the guitar. And that kind of freaked me out a bit. I kind of got scared and wondered what the hell have I bought. Guys, please bear in mind, this is meant to be a brand new guitar bought from PMT. Mm -hmm. This is not a uh, B stock, it's meant to be brand new. So seeing that the bridge was off really, really, really got on my nerves. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, coming in an Ibanez box didn't do anything for my confidence either. Just made me think that maybe this is just a bit unorganized. Yep, is as you suspect, this was just bouncing around in the box for the whole time. I honestly believe that the packing of this was shoddy because that is mad that is absolutely mad for a brand new guitar to come like this just really 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 disappointed with pmt and i actually like the shop side note i bought this online not in the actual physical store first impressions here was bloody hell it's beautiful obviously the bridge not being there still getting on my nerves still was fuming but I couldn't believe how nice it was to look at. Like, I'm impressed. I think it's beautiful. The knobs are really smooth. They feel great to touch, actually. I was pretty surprised. I thought I saw some scratches, but it was just a bit of dust. This switch that I'm playing with now feels really cheap. I don't believe it's befitting to the rest of the quality from the guitar. <laughs> this is what pissed me off even more. This little mark, scratch out of the paint. I believe this is probably where it was packed badly. And yeah, probably got damaged in transit, but yeah, not good enough. All in all, Negatives aside, this is a very beautiful guitar. It feels solidly made. Um, I haven't plugged it in yet, so I can't wait to do that. But this is what it looks like. That's the only mark after putting on the bridge. That's the only problem that I found with the guitar. So maybe not such a big deal, but I was just a bit, you know, underwhelmed by it all. It made this unboxing experience a little bit bitter, so to speak. Like, I just don't think it's good enough. And it's like, this guitar, look, there was an inspection card. This was actually inspected. Somebody actually checked over to make sure it was okay. And this is how it came. But yeah, I guess I've got to live with it. Another gripe, which I have, it may not be a big deal to you, but it is a big deal to me. I've only ever bought one other brand new guitar. And this was a cheap Squire Telecaster. I might make a video of that later on, another time. But what really got on my nerves is the fact that um, there's no paperwork. It came in the wrong type of box which, box, which I can forgive. But there's no accompanying paperwork, like little instructions or anywhere where you can register it online. Like proof of purchase kind of thing. And I thought... I don't know, maybe they don't come with Gretsch's or maybe I'm just going over the top, but it would have been nice to receive that, you know. Um, as I said, I've been to PMT, my local branch, quite a lot. I enjoy, I enjoy going there. Uh, the people are really cool and always willing to help. I bought this one online. I actually bought a case for this, but I went uh, called up the shop and asked them to order it for me instead because I don't want to deal with the website ever again. I think from now on I'll just be going straight to the shop. But yeah, this is it. I'm starting to believe that maybe, just maybe, they've shipped me a bee stock. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. That's it, guys.